Hello and welcome to your run through of Mocha 5. Now what is it that we at Mocha 5 have been doing? We have been putting a piece of software in place where we're going to take a virtual container of your corporate image and we're going to put it onto your physical laptop. Now we do that using virtualization and I know that sounds kind of scary, don't get too scared, it's fine. Um, by the end of it we'll show that it's really simple to use and you can run your physical machine alongside a virtual machine at the same time. Okay, let's move on and have a look at it. So, uh, here I have my Mac, uh, it could be your Mac, it could be your Windows machine, or it could be a corporate machine which has been given to you maybe by your contract firm and you're just going to install the container on it. Um, your admin will have given you a, a, a nice link which you'll go ahead and click on and it'll take you to a page. Enter your username and password there and you'll see a nice simple button. Let's go ahead and click on that button and then we can start downloading the installers and we'll just start running through. Okay, so what we're going to do now is not that complicated, we're just going to launch an installer. So we're going to go find the installer that we downloaded, double click on it, uh, we're going to have to put in our admin, username and password, and then just run through and click on all the defaults. Installation happens as expected. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to launch the app. So double click on it, re-enter those credentials, and you'll get a little quick tour. The quick tour enables you to familiarize yourself with the app and kind of find out a little bit about how it works. Make sure that you go through it, make sure that you uh, learn everything that you can. Uh, once it comes up, it may ask you to reboot, if so, go ahead and do that now. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we've got to bring down the container to the computer. So, it's a one-time thing, it's quite a big file, so it's going to be several gigs of data, but we're going to bring it down, and uh, it's going to take anywhere from maybe 20 minutes on a fast network to maybe, you know, several hours on a slower network, but don't worry, we give you a nice progress bar, and it kind of goes through, and you can see the progress as it's coming down. If you need to close your laptop lid, go home, go do that, we can start wherever you left off, don't worry about it. Um, so it's going to be a one-time action, once it's complete, now you have your instance, you're ready to go. Alright, so once it's down, something crazy happens. The button, that little button with the play on it, goes green. Oh yeah, yeah it does. I know it's crazy, people said it couldn't be done. The scientific community, they can't stand for it. But we did it, we did it right here at Mocha 5. So, what happens is you press the green button and it's going to boot up into Windows, but you're going to see it coming up in a window. Windows in a window. I know, it's like, have you ever looked at your fingers, dude? It's like, it's just there. So basically, it may look a little bit different to the way it's booting up here, because obviously everybody's live PC is going to look different to the one we have at Mocha 5. But nevertheless, Windows in a window. And you're going to see it come up ready for login. Whoa. So the aim of the container is that you can do all of your daily work that you need for your business within there without having to install things onto your native machine. Right? So that means that within the container you've got all of the apps that you need. But first of all, to make it easier to view it, let's make it full screen. So I'm going to click here on a little button and what you should see is it goes full screen. So now you can use all the real estate on your screen, you can move around within it just as though it's like running natively. And not only that, but you can go swish swish, 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 backwards and forwards between your host and your guest, and it becomes really, really useful to get between your container and your personal stuff. Right? All of the app state that you need, it's going to be there within the container. Here I am launching Outlook on the screen. Um, we use Outlook here, it could be any uh, application that you need. It will be there, your admin will have put it in the container. You can do whatever you want. You've got the right to bear arms and the right to arm bears. Go crazy. One of the things that we did when we designed Mocha 5 was make sure that it works well offline. So we know that in an ideal world, connectivity would be everywhere, but if you've ever tried to check your email at an airport, you know that it's just not there and it's really difficult. So one of the nice things is, when you turn uh, Mocha 5 into offline mode, here I am changing my Mac to offline, what you're going to see is the apps are going to continue to work just the same way. I'm back in my container, here's Word, I'm able to save the document, everything's there. Everything you need will continue to be there whether or not you're online, or whether or not you're on a plane, you're a road warrior, whenever you need it, it goes with you. Okay, let's talk about sharing. Aww. So, sharing between the container and your host is something that you can do, but most admins turn it off. Here you can see me trying to drag and drop some files between my host and my container, and it's been disabled. It's possible to do it, but your admin probably hasn't allowed you to do it. If you need this functionality, go talk to your admin and he'll help you out. Okay, printing. Now we all know that we live in the world of the paperless office and no one needs to print anything anymore. 
So let's talk about how we're going to print things from within our corporate container. Uh, here you can see I bring up a print dialog from within my container, but there's no network printers, there's no corporate printers in here. But what you will see is that my host has a printer installed in it and it's showing up with a host dash associated with it. So I can choose that printer and what it's going to do is it's going to print out something and it's going to send it and you'll see the dialog box come up on the host and it will print out that way. Pretty clever, huh? All right, so let's talk about customization. You know those Japanese cars that you can get with the big spoilers and the neon lights underneath? You can do the same thing to your corporate container. If your admin has allowed it, you can go in and set it up to be anywhere you want. A picture of the wife and kids on the background. You can go in and put your icons anywhere. Here I am installing Skype within the container. You can just keep changing anything you want as long as your admin allows. Pimp to your heart's content. Go crazy. All right, so let's talk about self-recovery. So we all know that computers are prone to getting viruses and all kinds of nastiness in them. So say your machine gets into a state where you just can't do anything with it. Maybe you can't boot it or when you're in it it's really slow and it's just messed up, right? It's a catastrophic state. Now, normally you'd have to take your IT, IT would spend a whole bunch of time diagnosing it. However, if you work with your IT or what they may tell you to do is rejuvenate. Now that's a function of Mocha 5, it's something we included and it enables you just simply from the player, here I am showing you doing it here to roll back your corporate environment to the last known good state that was deployed by corporate IT. But we don't just do that, we also keep your data and your, and, your, uh, and your settings. So this shouldn't be something that you click on every day, but when you need it, you'll be really glad that you had it. Thank you so much for taking the walkthrough of Mocha 5 today. I hope you've enjoyed watching it half as much as I've enjoyed making it. Um, we work long and hard to make our technology good for you, the end user. We really hope you enjoy it. Thanks very much.